horse gram is one among the lentils. It is the most protein-rich lentil found on the planet. It's very high powered, so that's why race horses are fed with this gram which is called as horse gram today. In the market it's unfortunately called horse gram, it's called kollu in Tamil and Hurili in other languages, Ululu in Telugu. So, uh, this is a very good thing. It's good to sprout it. If you sprout it, you digest it much more easily. You can keep it in a bowl in your room, take… get one white cloth, put it in that, soak it in the water for about six to eight hours, then tie it in a cloth and keep it closed. In about three days it will sprout. If it's sprouted, you can just eat it raw. If it's come out about half an inch out of the seed, you can eat it raw. It takes a lot of chewing and eating, you chew it and eat it. It's very good. Now this will increase heat in the body. Today's sun is up and suppose today you drink kollu or eat kollu and you feel too much heat, then you must balance it by eating green gram. Sprouted green gram will cool the system. Oh, is this all so complicated? Can't I just eat my meal? I'm only asking you to just eat it. I'm not asking you to perform any ritual. <laughs> but right now, you are just performing the ritual of eating. You're not eating as a human being should eat. If you just go and watch any of the wild animals, they're just chopping, chomp, 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 they're eating. But they're not eating indiscriminately, just like that. They're rejecting what they don't want. They're eating what they want. Just observe a spotted deer, you can see it, it will be grazing. You just see what it eats, what it does not eat, it just knows. Just like that, by the feel of it, it knows what to eat, what not to eat for today. Tomorrow it may be eating a leaf that it does not eat today, but today it knows what to eat for its body and for the atmosphere around it. So you also need to develop that a little bit because this is the intelligence of the body. So. Uh, Consuming this horse gram will generate heat in the body. If you find it's causing excessive heat, how do you know excessive heat is? You will notice your eyeballs are hot. Or you want to go and pee, you want to pee, it's full but it won't come out, it hurts. That means there is excess heat. Such a thing happens, you just drink some ash gourd juice or eat some green gram or take some castor oil and apply it on, you know, either inside the navel or the anahata, the vishuddhi, this place and these two spots behind the ears, if you apply instantly, within five minutes, the system will cool down, go to the bathroom, everything will happen without effort. So, the body has to be managed. Even now, self-management is happening, but if you consciously manage it, it will function better. It's as simple as that. If you want to use the system at a higher dimension of performance, then you have to watch it. Somehow live and die, then nothing matters, you eat whatever, no? What does it matter? Even if you eat garbage, you will live. But eating with care and watching what the body needs will enable the body in many ways, a conscious managing, not becoming a health freak being, you know, stressed about what do I eat, what do I do this, how do I this, no, that itself is damaging. Just being conscious, how much of what, what is body's requirement today, that's what you do.